what a find, Azriel. With this spell, I can turn metal into gold. Do you hear, Azriel? Metal into gold! <laughs> I'll be rich, 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 rich! Let me see. Uh, I'll need one gram of serpent venom. Yes, yes, yes. And with the first rays of dawn, add a half a pound of dissolved Smurfs? <laughs> no! Uh, but I have no Smurfs! <laughs> Half a pound of dissolved smurfs, hmm? Let's see. Hmm? Well, that would be about ten smurfs. Well, I'll get them. I'll get them! <laughs> It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Not as wonderful as friendship. Oh, this again. That's right. You couldn't break apart our friendship for long. Oh, Applejack, don't lie to me. I'm the one who made you a liar. Will you ever learn? Discord. We've learned that friendship isn't always easy, but there's no doubt it's worth fighting for. Oh, gag. Fine. Go ahead. Try and use your little elements frenemies. Just make it quick. I'm missing some excellent chaos here. <laughs> there are forces in the universe beyond your imagination, Tiro. We are but pawns in a universal game of good versus evil. I'm ending this game, Skeleton King. You are the one chosen to end it? <laughs> Believe what you will to ease your fears, boy. In coming here, you have given me control of your destiny. Behold. Your girlfriend is in pieces. Your monkeys are mine. And your pitiful robot useless. What is left to cling to? I'll never go to your side. Oh, 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 oh no, Jiro. This is where I remove you from my side, you painful little thorn. Why are you here? I'm here to tell the truth. Telling the truth during the middle of an eclipse. This should be interesting. First of all, embossing say it was Azula who took down the Avatar, not me. Why would she lie to me about that? Because the Avatar's not dead. He survived. What? In fact, he's probably leading this invasion. He could be on his way here right now. Get out! Get out of my sight right now if you know what's good for you. That's another thing. I'm not taking orders from you anymore. You will obey me, or this defiant breath will be your last. Think again. I am going to speak my mind, and you are going to listen. For so long, all I wanted was for you to love me, to accept me. I thought it was my honor that I wanted, but really, I was just trying to please you. You, my father who banished me just for talking out of turn. My father, who challenged me, a 13-year-old boy, to an Agni Kai. How can you possibly justify a duel with a child? It was to teach you respect. It was cruel, and it was wrong. Then you've learned nothing. No, I've learned everything, and I've had to learn it on my own. Growing up, we were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. And somehow, the war was our way of sharing our greatness with the rest of the world. What an amazing lie that was. The people of the world are terrified by the Fire Nation. They don't see our greatness. They hate us, and we deserve it. We've created an era of fear in the world. And if we don't want the world to destroy itself, we need to replace it with an era of peace and kindness. <laughs> Your uncle has gotten to you, hasn't he? Yes, he has. 
After I leave here today, I'm gonna free Uncle Iroh from his prison, and I'm gonna beg for his forgiveness. He's the one who's been a real father to me. Oh, that's just beautiful. And maybe he can pass down to you the ways of tea and failure. But I've come to an even more important decision. I'm going to join the Avatar, and I'm going to help him defeat you. Really? Since you're a full-blown traitor now and you want me gone, why wait? I'm powerless. You've got your swords. Why don't you just do it now? Because I know my own destiny. Taking you down is the Avatar's destiny. Goodbye. Coward! You think you're brave enough to face me, but you'll only do it during the eclipse. If you have any real courage, you'll stick around until the sun comes out. Don't you want to know what happened to your mother? What happened that night? My father, Fire Lord Azulan, had commanded me to do the unthinkable to you, my own son. And I was going to do it. Your mother found out and swore she would protect you at any cost. She knew I wanted the throne, and she proposed a plan, a plan in which I would become Fire Lord, and your life would be spared. Your mother did vicious treasonous things that night. She knew the consequences and accepted them. For her treason, she was banished. So she's alive. Perhaps. Now I realize that banishment is far too merciful a penalty for treason. Your penalty will be far steeper. Time is running out. Robin, welcome. I've been expecting you for some time. I was beginning to wonder if Cinderblock was too much of a challenge. Looking for this? Well, here it is. If you want it, come and take it. Good technique. Very rather. This is only the beginning. If you join me, if you swear to serve me, if you never speak to your friends again, I will allow them to live. But if you disobey even the smallest request, I will annihilate them, Robin. And I'll make you watch. Hello, girls. <gasps> Him. So good to see you again. How's things? Not so good. Having a little boy trouble? Or should I say... Big boy trouble! Hello, boys. You're doing just fine. So, how does it feel, girls, to know defeat is just around the corner? And victory for me is at hand! So you are behind this, him! What did you do to make our kisses powerless? Oh, that! That's my little secret! You see, I realized that the boy's only weakness was your pathetic little kisses! And since I knew you would resort to that, I added a little something extra! A cootie vaccination! Circle, circle, dot, dot! Now you have a cootie shot! <laughs> I got the spell off the internet! 
But your kisses are not totally useless, girls. They make my boys bigger and more powerful. <gasps> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Burns, but I must object. This Simpson is not qualified. I see. Well, you know, fellas, I look at the admissions board a lot like a baseball team. You all like baseball, don't you? Yes, well. To have a successful baseball club, you need teamwork. Not some hot dog admissions officer playing by his own rules! Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? And I'm giving you the beating of your life! Look, if... stop that. If you wanted him that badly, why didn't you just say so? Smithers, dismember the corpse and send his widow a corsage. Oh, Gravity Falls, it is good to be back! Name's Bill Cipher, and I take it you're some kind of living ventriloquist dummy? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know who you are, Gideon! What, what are you? H how do you know my name? Oh, I know lots of things. Lots of things. Hey, look what I can do! <laughs> Dear teeth, for you, kid! <laughs> you're insane! Sure I am, what's your point? Listen to me, demon! I have a job for you! I need you to enter the mind of Stanford Pines and steal the code to his safe! <gasps> Wait! Stan Pines! You know what, kid? You've convinced me. I'm sold! I'll help you with this, and in return, you can help me with something I've been working on. We'll work out the details later. Deal! Well, time to invade Stan's mind. This should be fun. Remember, reality is an illusion. The universe is a hologram. Bye, Gold. Bye! For eons, I have terrorized this land. Every miserable creature trembled at the mere mention of my name. The pitiful people shrank before my awesome power. But now, I am openly mocked by these measly urchins. Tales of the samurai's heroics have spread through the world like a virus. But I will cure the world of this plague of hope. I will unleash such evil that even the most innocent soul will be consumed by terror. The time for games has ended. No more charades. You see me as I am, and it will be the last thing you will ever see. Prepare to face your destiny and your doom.